Hi, it's Tara from AustralianCamels.com. In today's video, we'll be sharing with you on how to halter a camel. The camels that we'll be demonstrating with, which are behind me here, are fully trained camels and we've been working with them for many, many years. So we've got a system in place that we, we're, how, how we ask them to halter and they're very responsive to that. Now they didn't start like this obviously, so this is all just a process on getting a camel up to this stage. If you're working with a camel that is um, very young and untrained, then things will be slightly different for you. But this is the end result which you're looking for. If you are working with a young and untrained camel, we do highly recommend looking at the trust, building up that trust with the camel. And we have a method called the Trust Based Camel Training, which you can look up on our website. So make sure you have a look at that if you are working with young and untrained camels, because that will set your foundations right. So let's get into how to halter a camel. Hello. Hey, baby. Good boy. Okay, so first I've just put this long um, actual lead rope around his neck. So then I'm just gonna ask for his head and he should just slot right in, head. So nice and gentle. And they're really responsive when you're really gentle with them. No, um, you know, we always make sure when we're doing the halting process that we're doing things nice and slowly and gently. So getting to this stage of the rope halter, this is the type of knot that we want to do under this part here. Okay, so it's basically a half hitch. Well, it is a half hitch. So just like that and under. So this actually prevents um, the halter from, from slipping um, to make it you know, bigger and looser. So that just secures that in place. Now, if you are wondering about um, the most important camel knots you should know, make sure you check out our, our YouTube channel and um, or blog and make sure you have a look at most important knots because we teach all of these knots in some other videos. Okay, so the next part that we're doing is the neck rope. Now a lot of people um, don't have the neck rope, but the reason that we do is because this isn't enough to properly handle and or, and or train a camel, more importantly handle and train. They're such big animals. So this behind the neck isn't enough pressure behind their neck to actually encourage them to go forward. So we use this um, as a backup. Well, this is actually, you could actually lead a camel just with this neck rope and rope. But um, with this, if this slips or sometimes the nose can come off or this might get loose, you've got control of that camel at all times because of this neck rope here. So we're going under the actual halter piece and over to the other side. Okay. Then we're and then the knot that we're gonna do under his chin here is a bow line. <laughs> they just can't help themselves. So again, I'm just gonna do it quickly so that you know, but that we do have other videos that take it more slowly so you can actually learn the bow line knot. So here we are. Make sure it's high enough and you've gotta have at least three or four fingers I say four fingers space in there so that they can regurgitate and breathe and all those important things. Okay, so as you can see, it's not just the halter that we're controlling the camel with now, it's actually the neck rope more than anything, more so than the halter. So here we've got the neck strap is connected to the the lead rope here and so when I'm asking him to walk look up it's it's actually pressuring putting pressure behind his neck to ask him to walk good boy stand up okay good boy stand up so um, I'm going to demonstrate as the second way of haltering a camel um, but before we do that uh, instead of leaving the um, 
the lead rope actually drag in, which you can as well. But another way to do it is to daisy chain. So first you make one loop, okay? And then you make another loop and then another and then another and you keep going until you get to the end of the rope. And that just shortens the rope so the camels don't continually step on it. But they do actually learn that when you step, when they step on it, they actually learn to avoid it. So, you know, in the desert, we let the ropes trail so that we can track the camels. Um, but you know, when they're in yards like this, we generally just da daisy chain it. Great. So I'm going to demonstrate the second way you can halter a camel and that's by getting them to sit down and it's really helpful if you're vertically challenged a little bit like myself. Um, also it's a really good training for the camels is to get them to um, submit and to listen to you first. Stand up, stand up, good boy. Um, and then um, ask them to, to put the halter on. This technique also works really well if you have a camel that doesn't necessarily like having its halter done on. Um, so it's good to get them to sit down first and then go through the haltering process that way. So like I said, these guys are very experienced. Um, they've been with us for many years. So we know them and they know us and they know what to expect. So putting the uh, rope around the camel's neck, making sure you're out of their kick, kick range if you have a young camel and make sure it's up nice and high so you've got control over there and then ask them to sit any way which you do it. Obviously we all do it differently. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Is a good boy you know make sure you praise them and tell them that they're really great and he knows what to expect so he's like pulling his head towards me so making sure you still got hold of of this the neck rope here ask them for their head head and gently put it on again like we demonstrated before now with a young camel they could battle and they could you know toss their head around but you're the important thing for you is to stay there and they it's almost like curious, curiosity gets a benefit of them and they they put their nose through um, voluntarily which is really nice head good boy i mean um the head is a really vulnerable place for the camel so you know that's obviously where their brain is and all those sorts of important things. No one really likes being touched on their head. So this is an invasion of their space um, and, their, and their privacy in some respects. So it takes trust and understanding to, to get to this level. And again, we just put the neck rope around. And for me, this is so much easier because I am on the shorter side, if you haven't noticed yet. <laughs> and kneeling down. Yes, that's right. And the tail of the actual um, bowline, just tuck it in so that if it does come loose, at least it's going to grab again. Okay, and that's how you hold her a camel two ways. Are you a new camel owner or are you considering owning camels? Look no further for an alternative gentle camel training method. Forget all the heavy-handed and dominant space camel training styles. We'll show you another way. Get camel confident with your camel handling and training skills. Get our free camel training videos and ebook over at AustralianCamels.com. Should I be looking there or, or, or at you? <laughs> Just slow down a bit. So this video, we, we also... Uh, <coughs> does that mean action? Action. action. Right, great.